Welcome back to the channel. My name is Corey with Camping Kids and today we're going to tackle a speaker problem. So for some reason this speaker is not working so we're going to tear into it and see what's going on. Stay tuned. And you can hear that and it's only coming from the one speaker. So if we go take a look here. We can hear it from this speaker, however, when coming to this speaker, we get nothing. And I've gone and messed with the equalization and everything on it. We can come into here, and you can hear that if we change it, basically goes silent. So let's go ahead and take the speaker out and see what's going on. Okay, so it's, there's just four Phillips head screws here. So let's take these down and see if our problem is up in this area here. If it's not here, then there's a good chance it's in the deck and we may have to take that apart. But this is the easiest, most accessible thing. So let's take a look and of course there's a bunch of debris still left over here. And I can now hear, so if we turn this up now, so it is working, it looks like, I don't know, I can't tell if it's a bad speaker or if it's a bad connection here. It does seem to be kind of a bad speaker. Um, as you know, the electronics that get put into applications like this are just really bottom of the line type of stuff. So. Um, I'm debating on, we don't use the stereo all that much, but this actually hooks into our TV as well. So, okay. So what I did is I took the other speaker from the other side, brought it over here, plugged it in, and it was still giving me similar issues, which means it's a wire problem in my opinion. So. After a closer look, I can see that the positive terminal was, let me show you guys this real quick. So we can see here that normally when you crimp a wire, you crimp this metal section because that's where the wire goes into. We can see that the crimps were basically missed and the problem is I was on the positive here it was completely missed. So basically just needs to be crimped on there. So I do have some crimpers. Um, I am second guessing this crimp though. So I might try and see if I can pull this wire out, um, open that end up just a tiny bit, open this up and then recrimp it. We'll just take a look. Okay, so after inspection, I mean, it's obviously not perfect, but it looks to be still intact. So I'm going to get my crimpers here and let's go ahead and actually crimp the metal here. And always pull your wire connections after you crimp something just to make sure that it's good to go there. So I can see here that this is a lot more snug. I'm just gonna recrimp this other side as well, just for good measure since I have it out here. So I know I said previously that we're gonna find some new speakers. Um, we don't use the speakers that much, so I don't care to spend money on those. So let's plug this back in and see if that works. We'll connect the positive to the positive terminal here. The negative to the negative and already I can hear some sound. 
Okay, so we have some sound coming out. I'm just going to kind of lightly wiggle the wires, see if that sound cuts out. Which it's not, seems like it's working. So that was all the problem was for this situation that I was running into is just some loose wire connections it sounds like, which is good. I like it when uh, repairs go pretty easy. So we'll go ahead and get this screwed back in. So there you have it. We were able to get that uh, fixed pretty easily. Did test the other speaker from the other side, brought it over here and was experiencing the same problems. So I knew that the wires themselves were okay as I was touching them, but after closer inspection, I realized that the crimps weren't very good. So that's kind of my troubleshooting steps on something like this. And with that being said, you should be able to get to the problem pretty quickly and figure out what needs to be done. Uh, my concern was maybe the wire was cut or something, you know, up in the roof and then that'd be kind of the worst case scenario. Um, but even removing the, the deck or the stereo face um, usually isn't too bad. So I'm just grateful that this one was pretty easy to fix. Uh, if you guys find value in these videos, I'd love it if you guys would uh, subscribe and like and share. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. So there you have it. We were going, we were not a little. So there you have it. That was kind of a quick and easy repair. Um, 